Hey, what is up guys? This is Mo. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Razer Viper Ultimate Gaming Mouse. I use this as my main mouse for over a year now and I'm really excited to share my experience with you guys and tell you if this is still a worthy pickup in 2021. So let's get right into it. Alright, so first of all, let's get to the unboxing. You're going to get the mouse itself, a 2.4GHz USB receiver for the wireless connection, a charging dock, which we will get into a bit later, and the long braided micro USB cable which feels very different to other braided cables because it's lighter and has sort of a paracord braiding. So it's not going to get in your way as much if you decide to use the Viper Ultimate in wired mode. The build quality on the Viper Ultimate is fantastic. The shell has a grainy texture and there is no flex anywhere on the mouse. It's just so solid despite it weighing only 73 grams. I've dropped this mouse maybe 5 times over the past year and it's completely unscathed and I haven't noticed any difference in performance, so the build quality is definitely great and I can vouch for it. Now one of my absolute favorite things about the Viper Ultimate is the design and shape. The shape of the Viper Ultimate is very versatile and it's going to be great at fitting a wide range of users from all different types of grips and different hand sizes. It overall feels very comfortable even in my slightly larger hands. I really like that Razer has done its own unique thing with the design here, unlike their Basilisk which is just literally a copy of Logitech's G502. The primary buttons are slightly curved inwards for maximum comfort and have a great design on the edges to make it truly look like a snake. The scroll wheel has a nice weight to it and it also has dimples on it which feels very satisfying as you scroll. There are side buttons on both sides, this is a truly ambidextrous mouse and whether you're a right or left-handed user, you can make this mouse work for you. The side buttons are very well placed and have an excellent size. Now if you're worried about hitting the buttons on the side you don't use, you don't have to worry about that here. It's designed to be indented inwards and they're really hard to hit by mistake. The Viper Ultimate has rubberized sides which make it very easy to grip throughout gaming sessions. And if you want the main primary buttons to have grips on them, Razer makes these grip accessories that match the sides and feel very nice. And even with how well the shape works and how comfortable the mouse is for so many users, Razer did not sacrifice the looks at all. The Viper Ultimate is nowhere near boring looking or generic. It's going to look amazing on any setup and it's going to add a great aesthetic, especially combined with that charging dock. By the way guys, if you're liking the video so far, don't forget to smash that like button and if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Our goal for the year is 1000 subscribers and I know with your support, we can reach that goal. Now let's get back to the review. Now one of the main selling points of the Viper Ultimate is the weight. It comes in at around 73 grams, which is very light and at the time of its release, I think it was the lightest wireless mouse around. The Super Light has beat it now because it comes in at 59 grams, but honestly, that won't matter much here. The Viper is very light and it's easy to use for long hours without any wrist fatigue. Plus the Super Light does not come with RGB lighting and also has a bunch of buttons missing in comparison to the Viper Ultimate. It also makes for a fantastic mouse for FPS gaming, flicking and target tracking becomes easier with a light mouse like the Viper Ultimate. The Viper Ultimate makes for an excellent convenience package and that is down to a few things. First, let's talk about the awesome charging dock that it comes with. You can buy the Viper Ultimate without this dock, but I highly recommend you get it. It has a port to plug in the 2.4GHz USB dongle, and it connects to your PC with the included micro USB cable. So it acts like an extension adapter and it brings your dongle closer into your mouse, but it does it in a way that is much more useful because now you can charge your mouse by just simply placing it on top. It's like wireless charging for your gaming mouse. It shows off the Viper Ultimate very nicely on your setup and it looks great with the chroma lighting to match the rest of your Razer products. Now the light at the bottom of the dock does a little bit more than looks. It's a battery indicator, so right now I place the mouse on it and it's telling me that it's charging by pulsing green. When it's fully charged, it will be a solid green. When it's halfway charged, it's going to be a yellow. And when it's low, it's going to be pulsing red. So this is a really cool addition to the dock. And also at the bottom, you're going to see that it has sort of a rubberized feet. So when you have it on the desk, it's not going to fall or slip around when you have the mouse on it. Now this also means that you never really need to worry about plugging in your mouse. I mean seriously, it's always going to be charged and ready to go with this dock. 
Now the battery life on the Viper Ultimate is absolutely fantastic. You're gonna get 70 hours of battery life off of a single charge and also it has quick charge. So five minutes of charging is gonna give you hours of gameplay. You're not gonna be disappointed with the battery life here. And I've personally never had to plug it in because honestly, again, the charging dock is absolutely fantastic. And finally, the Viper Ultimate is wireless and that is just amazing. I hate wires and this mouse introduced me to true freedom when it comes to gaming mice. I got rid of the wire drag and the performance is exactly like a wired mouse. I mean, there is zero input lag or delay here, so you're not gonna notice a difference when you switch over. And that's just how good wireless mice have gotten these days, but in my mind, the Viper Ultimate was the first wireless mouse to prove that to me. Now looking at the bottom here, the Viper Ultimate uses 100% PTFE feet, which are just okay. They are smooth and do the job, but they do scratch heavily and maybe a bit too thin. But to most people, these are going to be great, so no complaints here. The Viper Ultimate is equipped with a 20K optical sensor, which is very accurate and has a fantastic response time. It's sensitive to your smallest movements, and the precision is very impressive. It has genuinely improved me as an FPS player, and I don't say that lightly. The Viper Ultimate uses Razer's very own optical switches, which are incredibly fast and accurate. Now, I'm a very early owner of the Viper Ultimate, buying it when it first launched, so I have the first version of these switches in here that I admit feel mushy and creaky. But Razer has gone back to the drawing board and has improved these switches a few months after launch. The second generation of these switches, which is currently being sold, feels so much better. I wish I had them in my unit. So if you've bought this mouse in the last year, or you're planning on buying it now, then you have nothing to worry about. The new generation of the switches feel very accurate, they're very fast, and they have a longer lifespan than regular mechanical switches like the Omrods. Alright, so let's do a sound test so you guys can listen to how the Razer Viper Ultimate sounds. The lighting on the Viper Ultimate is not the most aggressive, but it's very nice. There's only one RGB zone under the Razer logo. The light does get bright enough, and as with all Razer products, it looks great. It can be controlled through the Razer Synapse software, and it can be made to match the rest of your Razer products. Also through the Razer Synapse software, you can assign the buttons on the mouse to whatever you like to best fit your preferences, as well as change the DPI on the mouse which can also be done through the little button on the bottom of the mouse. All right, so as always, with all the technical details out of the way, let's talk about everyday use. The Viper Ultimate is a great everyday primary mouse. It's simple, straightforward, and wireless, so you'll be able to take it anywhere and everywhere. The one downside to the Viper Ultimate in comparison to true productivity mice is that it charges through micro USB in comparison to USB-C. But honestly, with the charging dock, you're not gonna be plugging in this mouse much. Now when it comes to gaming, the Viper Ultimate really shines. The weight, shape, and accuracy make it an excellent mouse for all types of games. I mean, it's really just a game changer if you're coming from wired mice or heavier mice. I have really enjoyed using it over the past year, and with hundreds of hours of gaming and playing casual, FPS, and strategy games, I can comfortably say this mouse is fantastic for any game you plan on playing. Now, there aren't many downsides to the Viper Ultimate, but one that I can definitely point out is the charging slots on both the dock and the mouse are specifically designed for the included cable. So if this cable gets damaged or you lose it, it's going to be really hard to replace because these slots don't really fit any standard cable. Now, although newer mice have come out since its inception, the Viper Ultimate was ahead of its time when it came out and it's still one of the best gaming mice you can pick up today. What really sets it apart is its convenience and ease of use. The charging dock is something you can only find with the Viper Ultimate and it's such an awesome addition to the package, giving you basically wireless charging for your mouse right in the box. So if you're on the fence about this mouse, especially with all the discounts it's seeing today, then I can definitely recommend this mouse for you. Alright, and I think that's all for the Razer Viper Ultimate. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to find your way back to more of my content. Have an awesome day guys and I'll see you guys next time.